Good morning everyone, happy weekend and stay on the happy new month. How are you all doing? I hope you slept well. Welcome to another edition of Rhapsody of Realities. And today is Saturday 2nd and the topic is always testify. Before we start this beautiful morning, let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for this week. It has been a success because you made it happen. Thank you, Father, for your blessings. Thank you for your grace that help us to excel in life. Thank you. Yes, the enemy tried, but we overcame by the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Father, for today, and we testify of your goodness in our lives today. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord hallelujah once more welcome to another edition of rhapsody of realities today is saturday 2nd and today topic is always testify revelation 12 verse 11 says and they overcame him by the blood of the lamp praise the lord and by the word of the testimony it is important that you always testify of god's goodness and the victories he is wrought in you and through you our opening verses, they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Learn to testify always. Learn, let your environment feel the impact of your testimonies. Firstly, testify the word. Declare the word as it concerns you. Says what the word says. Secondly, testify of his work of grace and love. Now, apart from your testimony, Glorify God and inspiring faith in others. They also cause Satan and his demons to take notice of you and flee from you. Demons really can tell what you think or know. But when they hear your testimonies, they will transmit the message to their cohort to stay away from you. Because they can see that you know who you are. Hmm. This is because they are very proud figures and they don't like to be disgraced. They know if they try to mess around you, you can cast them out. So make it a habit to always testify of the power of God, the integrity of His Word, and the power of the Spirit in your life. Praise the Lord. Not only will it cause you to experience more blessings, it causes contamination in hell. Never consider anything the Lord does for you or through you to be too small to talk about. Hmm. There is power in your testimony to completely neutralize the adversary and cause him to back off. It makes no difference what the daunting challenges the enemy throws at you. Testify that the greater one lives in you. Therefore, you are marvelously able of the Lord and have overcome the adversary and all adversaries. As you do, the Lord's power and glory will be manifested in your situation. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is what I have learned in my years of studying the Word of God and growing in the Word of God. Praise the Lord. Testifying, testimony is very important. Praise the Lord. That is how you put the devil in his place. Praise the Lord. And I was encouraging one of my brother today, and I, he was just complaining, going on and on. How oh, he's no happy this. And I said to him, and 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 I keep saying that he's moving forward, but he doesn't say it. He doesn't say it. And I, and I keep telling him, I said, oh, it's like you don't see yourself. You're, you're like a man looking at the mirror, but you don't reflect. Praise the Lord. Testimony is very important. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because where you are today, people are praying just to be that just to be where you are. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So what pastor is helping us to understand that you, you when you testify, praise the Lord, you put Satan in his place, praise the Lord, hallelujah, and it makes Satan to know that nothing, there's nothing he can do to you, that you overcame, that you have the power, and you know who you are in Christ Jesus, praise the Lord, hallelujah. So with that being said, let's take the prayer and confessions together. Dear Father, I thank you for your kindness, faithfulness, and love. I thank you for the miracles you have wrought in my life and the many blessings that I enjoy. I thank you for the power of your infallible word that has brought me into a place of glory, strength, power, rest, and dominion. In Jesus' name, amen. For that study, you can look at Mark 5, 20, Psalm 89, verse 1, and Luke 17, verse 11 to 19. 
When your Bible reading plan, you can look at 1 John 3 verse 11 to 24 and Ezekiel 47 to 48. To your Bible reading plan, John 17 verse 1 to 10 and 2 Chronicles 5 to 6. At your leisure time, you can go through the scriptures and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining in this morning. God bless you. God bless you. And if you have today is your first time coming across my channel and if you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat a prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God. I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. If you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is read the Bible, get to know God. God is be strong in the word of God get to know who Jesus is and who the Holy Spirit is to you and bombard yourself with self feed messages such like this and love for believing church and worship for growth praise the Lord what a great time we had this morning please subscribe to my channel on your notification bell so that anytime I upload a video like this you will be forced to be notified and please you can share this video God bless you as you follow instruction this morning in Jesus name so before we go Let's say prayer. Father, we testify of your goodness in our lives. Thank you because you are good and your mercy is endureth forevermore. Thank you for your love that cannot be touched in our life. Yes, everything is beautiful in its own time. And thank you for making a way where there seems to be no way. Thank you, Father, for the gathering of our weight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a great day. See you same time tomorrow by the grace of God. On Monday by the grace of God. Happy weekend to you. Enjoy your weekend. God bless you. Bye.